Okay, um, in this video, we're going to discuss parametric equations a little bit more. In our last video, we had a situation where both y and x were expressed as different functions of a variable t. In this problem, it's a little bit different because here we're saying, well, y is equal to x cubed minus 3x squared plus 5x minus 4, and x equals t squared plus t. So here, x is expressed as a function of t, but y isn't. y is expressed as a function of x. And what we're going to do in this video is determine what is dy dt. Find dy dt. And we're going to do it two ways. We're going to do it by using the chain rule. And then also, once we do that, we're going to find dy dt again simply by expressing what x is in terms of t. So this would be t squared plus t quantity cubed here, and so forth. So we'll express y in terms of t, and then we'll take the derivative dy dt and see if that's the same answer that we get using the chain rule. So the way the problem is set up right now, we can find out, just by looking at the equations, we can easily enough find out what dy dx is. And from here, we can easily enough find what uh, dx dt is. And if we multiply those together using our chain rule, dy dx times dx dt, we can think of these as canceling out and we're taking the derivative of dy dt. So, let's do that and get an expression for dy dt. Then what we'll do is, after we get this expression using our chain rule, we'll go back, look at the original equation, plug these values in for x, so that y will now be expressed as the variable t, and we'll get an expression for dy dt, and see if that's the same one that we derived using the chain rule. So let's see, dy dx. That will be equal to 3 times x to the 3 minus 1 power, or that's x squared, times the derivative of what's inside, which is just dx, dx, and that's just one, so we don't typically write that down, minus, take the 2 down, so that's going to make this minus 6, x to the 2 minus 1 power, that's just x, plus 5 times, the this is a, of course just a constant, so it's going to be this 5 times this derivative, which is dx, dx, which is just 1, so we don't bother writing it down, typically, and then that's going to be 0. So there's dy dx and dx dt. That's just going to be 2 times t plus 1. So dy dt That's going to equal dy dx, that's this, times dx dt. But now let's look. So here we have 3 times x squared. This is what x is. You can say this is equal to 3 times t squared plus t quantity squared minus 6 times x. That's t squared plus t plus 5. So that's our dy dx. And this has to be multiplied by dx dt. So we'll put brackets around this. So multiplying these two together will give us what 
dy dt is. Now, let's go back to our original equation. y equals x cubed. So that's going to be this cubed. So we have t squared plus t cubed minus 3 times t squared plus t squared plus 5 times x t squared plus t and we want to find we want to get an expression for dy dt so that will equal take the 3 down 3 times t squared plus t quantity squared then we have to take the derivative with respect to t now of what's inside of here. So that's going to be 2 times t plus 1. And here we'll have minus, now we're going to bring the 2 down, so that'll be minus 6 times t squared plus 2, t squared plus t to the 1 power, that's just that, times the derivative of what's inside here. So that's times 2t plus 1 plus 5. Now, we can do it like this. This is raised to the first power. So that would be equal to this times 5 times t squared plus t to the 0 power, of course it's just 1, but we still have to multiply what's inside the brackets here. So this is times 2t plus 1. But since this is to the 0 power here, then we can just, and that's a 1, we can write it just like this, plus 5 times 2t plus 1. Or if you wanted to, you could look at this and say, well, this is a constant, so it's just going to be times the derivative of this just be 2t plus 1. Either way, it comes out to be the same. But that's our expression for dy dt when we put plugged in this value of x directly into the equation and took the derivative. Here's what we got using the chain rule. And let's see if they're the same. Here we have 3 times t squared plus t times 2t plus 1. We have that. Minus 6 times t squared plus t times this. That's what we have here. Plus 5 times this. Plus 5 times that. So they come out the same either way. So we kind of want to keep this um, problem here just to give you a practical example well, they could show that the chain rule just hold up to be true. And we also wanted to um, um, try to find the derivative of this for here, x equals 2 plus 3t divided by 1 plus t and now have a problem where both x and y again are expressed in terms of the new variable t and then we want to solve this for the y dx using the chain rule. I don't think we have time in this video to do that so come back join us for the next video we'll consider this problem here where here x is expressed as a function of t y is expressed as a function of t, and we want to find the derivative dy dx. Let's do that in the next video and see what kind of an answer we get.